Welcome to New Zealand. During this particular mission, the main objective is to obtain intelligence information. The secondary objective is eliminating the target once she arrives with her entourage of mercenaries and her boyfriend. Right now, the house is not occupied. I've already gone through this mission a few times. And I've discovered a tried and true way to both eliminate the target and not raise the suspicion of either her boyfriend or her primary bodyguard. The first thing I need to do is gain access to the garage. There's a circuit box nearby that I can short out which opens the garage door mechanism. No cars. They could be out. Could be lying low. Satellite scans were inconclusive. Only one way to find out, I'm afraid. Now what lies beyond the garage door is exactly what would illustrate why I don't feel the need to mitigate collateral damage during this mission. The mercenaries that she hires are brutal, professional, thorough. The only thing that they don't have is high-end equipment. Most of them are actually armed with tactical shotguns. Although that's probably indicative of the, of the uh, location. I don't know exactly what firearms laws are in New Zealand, at least not exactly what they're like, but I can't imagine they would allow people, just anybody, to own high-end firearms, especially military grade. Yeah, their latest victims. Bodies, male and female. Early thirties. Executed. I see them. Oh, the bastards. Looks like Raynard's grisly handiwork, all right. She was never shy about collateral damage. The owners? Don't think so. The house is registered to a non-existing environmental NGO. This feels more like identity theft. Like you, Raynard is known to use disguises. Hmm. Keep looking, 47. Nothing we can do for these people now. Like I said, I doubt that our mercenaries are innocent parties in this. In fact, they're probably the ones who did all the dirty work here, so to speak. It was so kind of them to put a couple of tarps down. Note my sarcasm. Do I need that lead pipe? No, let's not pick that up. In fact, as I go throughout the house, I'm going to do my best not to disturb anything unnecessarily because the owners of the house, as well as the mercenaries, will notice something if it is amiss. You don't want that. Which means I'm going to do my best not to trip the security system, not to leave anything out of place, otherwise it could alert, it could alert them to my presence is what I'm saying. They're actually very thorough about this. In fact, I would even go so far as to say that the, that the target is quite possibly 47's equal in terms of planning missions of this type. She's also an assassin, just like him, but the difference is she prefers to hire other people to assist her in obtaining mission objectives, or rather achieving mission objectives, obtaining items and people in the process. But obviously she's become quite wealthy through her illicit line of work. Let's see what's in the van. Masks. Rope. Chloroform. Looks like another kidnapping. I wouldn't put it past them. The Shadow Client is nothing, if not industrious. Why is he doing this? Clearly, he has an axe to grind with Providence. Big enough to surround himself with murderers and terrorists. Big enough not to care who gets hurt in the process. He believes he's doing the right thing, I suppose. Just like everyone else. 
Okay, you'll see what I'm doing with the rat poison soon enough. There's also empty cans of... Well, not empty cans, just expired cans of spaghetti sauce laying here. Those are less lethal projectile weapons that 47 can pitch at people's heads. In fact, I'm going to pick up as many lethal and non-lethal projectile weapons as I can while I explore the house. Let's go ahead and enter the house proper here. It's tempting to turn this off, but like I said, that may tip off the owners of the house. First bit of intelligence on the coffee table here. Found something. Looks like research reports. Berlin, Shanghai. Every major malicious strike since Thomas Cross's kidnapping. Looks like Reynard had a hand in all of them. All in the past, I'm afraid. Keep looking, 47. Know what I'm doing with the rat poison? Every time they re-enter the house, the boyfriend offers Alma a cup of tea. She's going to pick one of the two sweeteners for the tea. Honey or sugar, but never both. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to poison both with an emetic poison. Hmm. Okay, I thought the rat poison had more than one dose in it. I guess not. Hope she picks honey. Although, I don't know. There's another way to go about this. Here's what I'll do. I'll put the emetic poison in the honey and the chloroform in the sugar. The only thing I have to do is knock out her boyfriend and her primary bodyguard if she chooses the sweetener with the chloroform. If she chooses the sweetener with the emetic poison, she'll run to the nearest restroom here. Either way, the bodyguard and the boyfriend are going to be knocked out with an item I find later. Maybe even these. Depends on my vantage point. But I can work with this. Uh, let's see here. Now, if she chooses the emetic poison, the honey laced with the emetic poison, she'll run to this restroom and begin throwing up into this toilet. At which point I'm going to use the fiber wire to take her out. I also have a micro taser. Although that's a last resort item, I'm not sure what route I can use that. You see, there's a panic room, sender screen, see that wall? Both the boyfriend and Alma use that panic room, and once they're inside, you can't actually gain access to it. Although as a last resort, there's a vent on the roof that you can shoot through. So if Alma ends up locking herself in there, I can still shoot her with the ICA-19. But I want to avoid that if at all possible. The thing is, I want to execute this as quickly and quietly as I can. More intelligence on the end table here. Found something. A file on Rupert Pierce, founder of Dynasty Global. The world's largest internet retailer. Hmm. If Pierce is a Providence operative, he's likely on the Shadow Client's hit list. But it's not what we came for. Keep looking, 47. Took a drink of coffee there, pardon me. And Alma also has a dog someplace, although he appears to be at least not inside the house. This is one of his squeaky toys uh, in the shape of a kiwi. Might be a useful distraction device. Now I imagine if I wait long enough they're going to end up getting ready for bed. This is another area where I could ambush her. Rather disturbing painting there.
All right. I think I'm just about as prepared as I can be. Let's. Here we go. That computer. See if you can't access it. It's tempting to pick up the coins. Actually, let's do that. You never. You never know when I need more distraction devices. Uh, try to access her desk. Stop computer here. Encrypted. Hmm. Assuming there's a key, Reynard wouldn't just leave it lying around. Wait. According to the floor plan, the room you're in should be a lot bigger. There might be a concealed space behind the wall. Check for hidden panels, 47. Of course. This is the safe room. And the thing is, once either one of them lock themselves in here, you can't actually access it. This vent up top, like I said, you can shoot through it. You can also use the air handlers on the roof to administer an aerosol poison, but I chose to go another route with the poison that was available here. is the shadow client let's pick up all of the bladed weapons I can find along with that tranquilizer gun these throwing stars would be nice and the folding knife tranquilizer gun now I only have two darts for this tra tranquilizer gun and they're going to be reserved for the bodyguard and the boyfriend Keep that ready. Pick up the katana too. And the fragmentation grenades. Now those seem like good weapons, but they're actually not. I'm going to use them for something else during my escape out of the mission area. It's very tempting to pick up the shotgun, but I think I'm going to leave that. Like I said, I want to take the silent approach in this mission. I've gone through it several times by now, and even I admit this is probably my fourth or fifth take in this playthrough recording. Let's see if I can get it right. My goal is to kill only the target after obtaining the information I need. The mercenaries aren't going to make it easy for me to escape, but luckily there's a lot of low brush along the beach that I can hide in to get back to the boat. I don't necessarily have to kill them either, but if they prove to be too much of a problem, I won't hesitate. Like I said before, they're a nasty bunch, and I... I can kill them with a clear conscience. Let's just put it let's just put it that way. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. Might as well take up that lockpick while I'm at it. Here, hang on. There's something else down in the uh storage area on the bottom floor that I want to obtain. It's inside this cabinet here. That also contains a Hackle 9S. I don't really want that. But as it stands, I have two folding knives and three throwing stars, along with three cans of expired spaghetti sauce, which are all reusable. Go ahead and get the Trank gun ready. Close the store again. Actually, no. There. The 
Hope she picks the honey. If she picks the uh, sugar, she's only going to pass out after she drinks the tea. At which point, I might just have to shoot her with my uh, pistol. Let's go ahead and close the safe room. If that's left open, they'll definitely notice it. For now, let's get the primary intelligence off of her computer. I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade, possibly Reynard's. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage 247. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. Oh, I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know. Sounds like Johnny Cage. I wonder if he's the same voice actor. The upcoming Cassandra Snow movie, Tears of the Welcome Wolf, home. was announced oh. today. And the sixth yeah. installment in it's the record-breaking team franchise, sin. which will be Ugh. exclusively in New Zealand, finds the eponymous Snow in a perilous parallel dimension, where she must destroy the mystical source of lycanthropy across the multiverse. <laughs> Max, you in here? Patient now. Patience. I really hope she picks the honey for the sweetener. Jared, Jerry, it's all clear. Copy that. Do a sweep of the upstairs while you're at it. I knew you were gonna say that. So, uh, you gonna tell me who it was we just kidnapped? House guests of the PM. The wife and two daughters of one Lance Donovan, the VP of Dynasty Global. The online retailer? Uh-huh. Donovan is back in London, working. He should receive the pictures as we speak. Ah, blackmail. Donovan's boss, Dynasty CEO Rupert Pierce, is a top Providence operative. But we can't get near him, so I decided to, well, do a bit of outsourcing. Oh. Could you fix me a cup of tea? Sure thing. You want sugar? Honey? Um, sugar. No problemo. Okay, she's gonna pass out. Mr. Donovan. Who I am is not important. You have seen the pictures, yes? Good. I will tell you exactly what to do. Do it swiftly and without question, and your wife and children go free, unharmed. Refuse or hesitate, and your family dies. Attempt to signal or warn anybody, and your family dies. Do we have terms? Mm, not very convincing, Mr. Donovan. Take a deep breath and try again. Much better. Now. You will take the stairs up to the rooftop helipad where your boss, Rupert Pierce, is taking his morning jog. You will inform his guards that you are delivering an urgent message. You will approach Mr. Pierce, lure him close to the edge, and toss him off the building. Hey, you want green tea or mango? What do you think? You heard me, Mr. Donovan. The life of your boss for the life of your wife and daughters. Shouldn't be much of a choice, even for a workaholic. Do you understand me? 
Very good. Now, go. If I don't hear sirens from downtown London in five minutes, your family suffers the consequences. Best of luck, Mr. Donovan. We thank you for your sacrifice. Is it done? Good as. And Mr. Donovan's wife and children? The guys will let them go at the stroke of midnight, unless I say otherwise. Boss's orders. You know how squeamish he gets about collateral damage. Ready? Quickly? Okay, equip something different. Ugh. Unbelievable. Quick and dirty. Okay, dispose of the bodies quick. Go ahead and bring her into the bathroom. Drop her there. Now for the bodyguard. Drop. Boyfriend. Now the bodyguard and the boyfriend are only unconscious right now. Can you even see where I shot him? Lower back. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to hide him in the safe room. Sorry, pal. As far as the main bodyguard goes, put him in the hamper. All right, now get out of here. Go ahead and equip something like. All right. Drag his body quick. Go ahead and stash him in the locker. He's not dead either. What do I do with the shotgun, though? Pick it up and drop it someplace. Here. Okay, look around. The boat is still quite a ways away. Now, like I said, these mercenaries may not be well equipped necessarily, but they are very professional and very skilled. It's pretty clear they know what they're doing. 
So I'm going to have to make use of the low brush quite a bit here. See how it conceals me. Just going to have to carefully make my way to the boat. And while I'm at it, let's equip something to knock a few of the mercenaries out in case I run afoul of them. Like, you know, spaghetti sauce. Okay, I'll wait for this guy to pace back in that direction. One hundred thirty meters. Towards the boat. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution. It's almost spotted there. Let's wait for the Yeah, pace back. Easy does it. Hit him. can do. That's what I have the frag grenades for. Alright, drag him into the brush. Let's go. Drop him. Go ahead and pick up the shotgun just in case. If I do this right, I won't need to use it. But if for any reason this is botched, I will need to use it. They're focused on the boat. Alright, drop this here for now. Ready a frag grenade. You probably see what I'm about to do here. Ready, set. All right, then. Got their attention. Let's circle towards the boat. Like magic. 